guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a packing vlog. I have three orders that I need to pack and I also need to do a few kind of like office type things that I need to get done. So I need to print out a few things, make a couple of things, uh, one things for the market. So this is kind of sort of market prep, I suppose you could say, but I also need to print out some new invoices. I'm just about out of those. Uh, and yeah, I just have a few other things that I want to do on the laptop as well, but I'll get into that a little bit further. So we have three orders that we need to do today. Two of them are actually going to America and one is staying here in Australia who is for a repeat uh, customer, which is absolutely amazing. I love all my customers and it's so great when customers come back. So her order is marked as a gift. So I just add in these little swing tags. Um, she didn't write that she wanted a tag or that she wanted to write anything to this person. So I thought I would just add it in and she can use it if she wants to. Otherwise she can just discard it. But all I wrote on there was a gift for you. Some customers write that they want like a particular uh, writing on their swing tags or nothing at all. So yeah, I thought a gift for you was nice. Um, for the American orders, I can't put any candy in there, so I have a few stickers for those ones. But yeah, without further ado, we'll get straight into packing these orders and then we'll go into what I need to do behind the scenes for the office kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go pick the orders, or uh, well, the products that I need and we'll get into it.
Alrighty, so I have packed these orders now. All I need to do is lodge the international ones on Australia Post. Uh, I normally just, I don't have a label printer, so I normally just take them down to the post office and they do it all for me. It's a really small post office and it gets really busy, so uh, the post office lady asked me when I'm doing the international lodges if I can lodge them prior to going down to Australia Post, which makes a lot of sense, but they'll still print it for me. Uh, but today I think I'm just going to print it out myself, there's only two of them. If I have a lot of them, they normally print it out for me. Uh, that way I'm not using too much ink and yeah, Australia Post is really great like that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to quickly lodge these onto um, Australia Post, then I'm going to deliver them down to the post office, and then when I get back, I'm going to do like the office side of things that I need to do. So uh, I'll see you guys when I get back from the post office, and yeah, we're going to do a few things on Canva. Okay, so I'm back from dropping off those packages to the post office. They've all been shipped off now. So what I'm going to do now is I want to jump on Canva and I want to kind of switch up my invoices. So at the moment, this is what they look like. And I did these like ages ago. I printed off so many of them, too many of them. And what I want to do is I want to add in an extra line because I'm finding that sometimes it's not quite enough and I'm having to use two invoices just to add one more item. So I'm going to add in a couple more lines and I'm also going to change the pink because the pink has nothing to do with my brand. I use greens and things like that so I have no idea why I did pink but yeah I didn't want to waste them. So I used them all up and now I want to change them. So I'm going to do that. And the other thing I want to do is I want to play around with making some swing tags for my hair claws. So I don't have any swing tags or anything like that on my hair claws. I won't be using them for like packaging orders and things like that. But what I want them for is when I go to my markets in a few weeks, when I get back from going to WA, um, I want to, so at the moment when I do my markets, I put the hair claws in baskets and I put a couple on the table, but you can't really see them all. And I have so many different varieties and now I have two pegboards. So I have the original pegboard that I made like when I first started doing markets and then I managed to get my hands on a really good pegboard from Kmart, it was on clearance, it was the very last one, they've discontinued them now I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to use that pegboard, the one from Kmart, for all my scrunchies and everything. And what I was thinking of doing was putting a mixture of scrunchies and hair claws on the pegboard that I made. So in order to be able to do that, I need to be able to hang the hair claws from something. So I have this twine that I want to use. And I thought I would just make up a few uh, swing tags. So they're going to be very, very simple. Nothing too exciting, I don't think. I'm just going to have a play around with it and I'll print some out. And then I'll cut them and we'll put them on the pegboard and kind of have a look and see what you guys think. So when I was down at the post office, I also picked up some of this cardstock. This is cardstock, but it's not super, super thick. So it does go through my printer. I've used it before. So I know I won't have any issues with that. Okay, so this is the invoice that we are going to play around with. I just want to get rid of all the pink. I have already added in an extra line, but we're basically just going to be changing this color here to my green. And I'm going to change all these lines to black. I'm not quite sure why I left them pink originally, but you know, whatever. Uh, so that's pretty much all I think I want to change. I'm pretty sure that's enough lines now. Print four to a page. Um, so yeah, I'll just get ready to print that off now. And then we're going to go to the swing tags or the hang tags or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so yeah, I'll just print these out and yeah. Okay, so I have printed out the new invoices that I'm doing and what I'm going to do now is work on the hang tags or the swing tags or whatever you want to call them. So again, I'm still in Canva and I'm just going to look up like hang tag or swing tag or something like that. 
and see what comes up. And I'm not sure if I want it to be double sided yet or not, but I'll kind of see how I go. Um, I just want it to be very simple. Uh, and yeah, I just kind of want it so I can hang the hair gloss, but you'll see what I mean afterwards. So I think I'm just going to select the first one that pops. I think I'll obviously change this. <laughs> change this to and then I'm just going to add in my signature little actually that placed perfectly so I think I'll leave that not sure if I'm going to do a second page but I'll play around with it and we'll see obviously I'm going to get rid of the colors again and we'll just play around with the sizing afterwards this is just like a base idea of what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to play around with this. And once I've got it done and printed, I'll come back and show you guys what it is looking like, I think. Okay, so I have finished the little tag. This is what it looks like on the front. And that's the back. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I am definitely going to need to get a hole punch though. Uh, I just kind of just stabbed this one um, with, a st <laughs> with a Stanley knife just to see how it goes. So I just kind of want to, yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly how I'll hang it. I'll like, once I've worked it out, I'll know for the day, but basically tie that off like that for now. So it'll kind of look something like that. And then I'll just set up the board and I'll show you what it will look like on the board. Okay, so this obviously isn't how the board actually looks, but I just chucked in a couple of pegs. Uh, they're not in properly, but yeah, this is kind of my thought to kind of just have like a little tag. The tag doesn't have to stay in front. Um, in fact, I would probably like swing the tag to the back or something, but basically I just wanted something I might even hang them more like focus like that but yeah I just wanted something else to display them on so that they're not all in these baskets uh, or laying flat and I might even just like pop some scrunchies kind of in there as well so if I hang them that way I'd probably make the string a bit shorter um, or maybe I might just hang them on the lower one, like on the lower row or something. But yeah, on the day, I'll kind of play around with it and see how it looks. Like, well, I'll have a test run before the markets, but that's basically the idea. Just so it can have something to hang and it gives, like, customers another element to look at. But yeah, so I'm going to finish making these little tags. I really like them, actually. <laughs> I might even keep them. What are your thoughts? Should I just use them for the markets? Or should I keep them on there? Like, if you were buying a hair claw, would you like this little tag? I don't know. I kind of really like them like this. Obviously, I would tie it better. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts thoughts down in the comments below. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. Uh, the next one will probably be making skinny scrunchies or XL scrunchies. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to work on first. I have sold a few skinny scrunchies in the last couple of weeks, so I'm running out of stock and I definitely won't have enough stock for markets, so definitely need to work on those. I also really need to work on XL scrunchies and uh, all of these but yeah the next one will be definitely a scrunchie of some description uh but yeah if you like this video and you want to see more like it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below it really helps support my channel and it also lets me know the kinds of videos you guys like to see bye for now and i'll see you on the next one